Hey guys, it's me, my face, and my second beer of the night. Yes, it's been that kind of day, week, month. Yeah. By way of introduction, which apparently is the new normal going around, um, my name is Andrea and you have reached my cross-stitching channel. It's a cross-stitching channel about cross-stitch, except for when it's not. Sometimes it's a channel about how little I've stitched. Sometimes it's a channel about how poorly I've stitched. But generally, there's a stitching theme. If you're new here, welcome and apologies. If you've come back, it's your own damn fault. As usual, I do not have a whole lot to get into. I was not terribly prolific this week. Although I did work on four things, I didn't work on a lot of the four things. That makes sense. So let's just dive in. The first thing that I worked on is Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. If you remember last time, I was having a few words with this project. Apologies, the heat just kicked on. Um, we were having words and then we weren't speaking, and then finally I picked out the pumpkin that was giving me problems, and now I have not only re-stitched the pumpkin, but gone further than I had. So he is coming along. Please remind me, don't key anything off the moon because it's in the wrong place. I really, really, really was looking forward to starting this block. There's witches in this block. They're wearing good dresses. I am already having big problems with this block. And by having problems, I mean I did something wrong. Sitting on top of this pumpkin is a, an owl. An owl? An owl. And I can't wait to start him because he is super cute. And he's not going to give me any trouble at all. Right? I forget who I was watching recently that said something about the mouth noises and hates the mouth noises, and I hope that wasn't really mouth noisy, but sometimes you need beer. The next thing I worked on this week was Night Flight, which I am still... I love this pattern so much that I can't wait to finish it and start the other pattern. That makes sense in my head. But look at the, look at the moon! Look at it! Oh my god, it is so cute. And I was sitting here thinking, you know, these little backstitching things that are on the pattern. I said, ah, maybe I won't do those. I don't know what they're for. Are you kidding? Look at the mid, look at the, look at it! I love that moon. I love that moon so much. And the coverage. Let's talk about the coverage again. Because, you know, I have sort of a thing for coverage. One over one. Mystery fabric. That's where it's at. The next thing I worked on is the one that everybody's been waiting on. Templar Prophecy. I started the dragon! That is... I'm going to say uh, gassed steamed broccoli. If it's not, I'll correct myself on the side as always. Look at that variegation. That's the kind of thing I like to see. It's... Can it be subtle and yet bold? I suppose so. I am. It's kind of that swampy alligator color that I was looking for. It's nicely variegated. It's stitching up nicely. I'm very pleased. I made a good choice. One in a row. I'm kind of torn between working on this tonight or Death by Cross Stitch because I did not work on Death by Cross Stitch last week, this past week. I also did not work on Moon Hair. I should give that some love. I'm not even done with the video yet, and I still have to edit it and upload it and whatnot, and I'm trying to think of what I'm going to stitch on. I'm going to have another sip of beer. Oh, 
In case you are wondering, this is not focusing. Bamboozled by Hops, Barrel House Z. That was some good stuff. Oh boy, this is gonna go well. The next thing that I worked on, or the last thing that I worked on, is The Haunted Mansion by Tiny Modernist. What do you think of it? Huh? No, he doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. You care though, right? You, you care, right? I have just about finished the vampire's little room. I haven't done any of the backstitching yet, and I'm kind of thinking I might do the backstitching as I go on this. I don't know why. I just kind of want to. I did the backstitching on his face because he looked sort of weird without it. And I'm sorry, but those are the cutest little fangs in the whole universe. And it also just dawns on me looking at this really close up that I haven't finished the books yet. I was missing a color, but I got it. Technically, my sister got it for me. I should pay her for that. It occurred to me that none of these rooms so far have doors. But I think the vampire could just apparate. Is that the word? And the ghost could just go through the walls. So I guess they don't need doors. But it is like a fair amount of foresight, whoever built the house, to know that the occupants would not need the doors. I'm reading too much into this. And that is it. That has been my week. Uh, I can't even really say that, you know, since I recorded last week on a Sunday that I'm short a day because, come on, I wasn't going to work on anything more this week. Uh, it has been an insane week at work. Thanksgiving is the biggest holiday sale that we run. And in years past, like I had a whole team that I worked on and there were like five or six of us during this time of year handling things. This year, it's, it, it's me. It's mostly it's me and me. Um, I have a person who, who reports to me now, but it's one of those things that I have trouble showing her how to do anything because I can't stop doing it to show her how. The poor thing, she's got to be bored out of her mind. I mean, she's got stuff to do, but it's the stuff I don't want to do. That's not fair. So work has been stressful, and the rest of my life has been stressful, and... My hair looks good, so there's that. I tell you, I go to see my therapist every two weeks, but then I have an extra therapist in my hairdresser that I see every three weeks. And there is, there is nothing like talking to your hairdresser, especially when she's also one of your friends. But, you know, when you go to a therapist, it's your time to freely talk about yourself, basically. It, that's your 50 minutes of it's all about me. And you don't have to feel like it's it's selfish or anything like that. But when you go to the hairdresser, not only does she listen to your bullshit, but she is allowed to then share her bullshit with you. And so you have this thing called a conversation where you get both sides and you get input and stuff like that. It really is miraculous. It's miraculous. And the hair. I want to thank everybody who, uh, you know, my past couple of videos, I know I've been kind of a downer. And I don't say that in like, oh, I'm sorry I told you I wasn't doing well, because it's okay to not be doing well. It's, it's kind of normal to not be 100% all the time. If you have somebody around you who's saying like they're 100% all the time, they are lying to you hard. I have ups and downs. I've had better weeks. I haven't had a whole lot of worse times than we're having right now, but that's how it is. Uh, I don't mean, to, I don't talk about it to get attention. I don't want anybody to say, oh, poor you or anything like that. It's just, this is where I am and this is my time to talk to you about my stuff. It's my video. This is my video. I talk about my stuff. So yeah, stress. I have, again, been consciously putting into practice the am I not doing things because I don't want to or am I not doing things because I'm depressed and depression is telling me I don't want to. 
um, you know, I can look at all my projects and think, yeah, you know, okay me would totally want to stitch on all of these all day long. It's depressed me that looks at them and says, you're not going to make any progress. It's not going to look any better. That one has an error that you have to deal with. Shut up, inner me. Shut up. So even when I don't, when I think I don't want to stitch, I've been trying to stitch and then I get some stuff done. That's the plan. I'm also getting ready for, you know, actual family Thanksgiving, not just the big sale. We don't even have a Thanksgiving sale anymore at work. We have a Black Friday sale. That's the only sale. There's no Thanksgiving. It's just Black Friday. That's depressing. I digress. You may remember from years past that our usual um, plan is that on Wednesday night, before Thanksgiving, my sister and I go to my father's and we make spinach pies and squash pies and all sorts of other things. And we throw back some wine and it's a good time. Then I usually go home and go back kind of earlier the next day to help him get set up and things like that. This year, I think I'm going to stay there Wednesday night, which pretty much just means more wine for me. But I think it's going to be a lot easier to get up early in the morning. He's not really up to doing the cooking anymore, but he still wants to host. So I can get a bunch of stuff going and he just needs to, you know, point at things and tell me what to move because I can't do Thanksgiving dinner all by myself. I'll jump off of something. I did have a little perk this week. Uh, Amazon sent me a $12 gift card because of you guys, because of you clicking my affiliate links down below and shopping at Amazon. It's my, uh, you know, seven cents that builds up. It's actually a lot better than I thought. Most things like that people buy from my links are the, uh, do I have one here? I should have one here. The fabric peels, the, these things, they're actually, I think, thread peels is what they're called, but they use to hold the fabric down. I sell those and a lot of the wire key rings that I hang my floss on. And generally when somebody buys one of those, I think I end up with like 57 cents or something, which I think is pretty impressive. Um, so thank you. Thank you for my $12. And I was not terribly prepared this week, but we will definitely do a giveaway next week to say thank you. Just so you know, that $12 has already gone to a good cause. I had kitty treats delivered. Because I'm at a point in my life where I have kitty treats delivered. I'm not proud of it. I'm owning it. I think that's it for this week, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your likes and your dislikes. And thank you so much for your comments in your messages and keeping up on me and keeping tabs on me and checking in with me. I appreciate all of it. You are my community and I need you all very much. Thank you. Bye guys.